Can the Dolphins win a chip with Tua? Hell yeah! yeah I well, like damn, I, I didn't know you was a guest. Oh, sorry. I'm mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs>
though you gotta also understand it takes a lot of luck and a lot of time into yeah. like yeah. ranges yeah. don't happen. That's no, what I was gonna say to you. Like, yeah, we, you might be willing to take less, but it also gotta be the you know, I mean, like you, there's nothing guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you got a small window to make the money you can make. Yeah. So yeah. it's like you gotta juggle those things. And, and I'm sure you'll you guys will do that this offseason. Like I said, yeah. it's gonna be fun for you because it's right. the first time you get to be a free mm-hmm. agent. You get to hear certain numbers from different teams. Mm-hmm. You can almost be your own GM. That team's built for it, but then yeah. the injuries have to take place, right? Yeah, like, for sure. So that, the thing with football, man, is like we're basketball dudes, right? Yeah. So you can kind of look at it like three or four people can change a team. Right, yeah. In football, <laughs> three or four people can't really change a team. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like now you can do certain things to elevate the team, but you can get a stop on defense. Now your offense gets the ball with two minutes left. They got to go down and score. And you, get a, you get a you lockdown. You went down Super Bowl and you took the last money. I'd be like, <laughs> right. what the hell? Hey, you get a lockdown <laughs> corner, though, you can change it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get a lockdown yeah. corner, you can change I can, it. Yeah. I know you, you can, but then yeah. the over there still got to go down and get seven. No, they yeah. definitely got to right. get it. Because, man, right. being here, man, like, I feel like I had to make plays on defense to score mm-hmm. touchdowns and stuff like that to get the team going, though, like, yeah. in my career here, though. Yeah. But last year, it wasn't that, though. It wasn't that. I, um, I don't know why I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. It was a different system I was in. Yeah. It won in the system that I was in with Flo- Flores and them, it was like I knew for sure the ball was coming my way because mm-hmm. they forced the ball my way yeah. so I could make my plays. But okay. now it was just my whole career I've been a press corner, and it was a, a different scheme. I was playing off most of the time, and it was like okay. that wasn't the thing that I'm good at. Like, okay. If I'm good at something, why you won't let that player just be good at what he's doing, pressing? Yeah. That, why you trying I, to switch it up? It's damn year eight. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know, but I, I can't speak on football. But yeah. That shit, that shit blows my mind, though. Like, it really Defensive does. Player my, huh? Defensive player of the year. Huh? Defensive player of the year. big play. I can just equate it to basketball. And at the end of the day, I do the same shit. Like, this dude did X, Y, and Z at this place. That's why we paid him over here. Right. Well, that's why he was a pro bowler over mm-hmm. here. That's why he was an all-star over here. Why are we going to change it up? I don't understand that. Like, that blows me, man. Like, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, it's, I'm a, I, it's I'm different coordinators, though. It's, yeah. I feel yeah, like I'm a, it's I was different just going to tap into that because, like, you guys had a coordinator. And when he left, he said some weird I ain't really yeah. quite understand why he would say that. Hold well, the dumbest down for me now. And Jalen <laughs> Ramsey, well, he kind of he kind of hinted at the guys really enjoying the nightlife a little yeah. more than and they who's enjoy. This guy? The defensive coordinator that left here. Which was? He ain't yeah. with us no more, so I don't Ooh. know his name. Okay. We ain't speaking about <laughs> I only speak okay. on the Dolphins coaches. I okay. don't know his name. He ain't with okay. us no more. When he was with us, I knew his name. <laughs> he ain't got a name. Yeah, yeah I don't know his <laughs> name. No more. It's crazy. Yeah, he don't he's he not here no more. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever his name is, he right. said okay. Okay. that they was focused more on hanging out and being in the streets than playing football. Now, with that being said. If, if 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 he did have to say that, why you ain't say that while you was here? Yeah. Why you wait till you leave to say that? That's the shit we don't go for. Man. But secondly, like, is you could speak on that. You was there. I don't know. I feel like it's I don't BS agree. though, because it's like, bro. At the end of the day, like, we we human beings. Hmm? We not gonna be perfect. Like, we can enjoy our life. Like, yes. we get paid to just As we get should. paid to do our job. As you should. So we gonna do our job. Like, we was we winning games. Was doing the right way but it's like bro we also want to enjoy our life though bro mm-hmm. like this is a small window like we taking advantage of it but it's like we also got to enjoy our life we just can't be football 24 8 because it's like bro people got families people want to go out to eat enjoy want to go out club do yeah. their thing i like in this miami eight. lifestyle <laughs> <laughs> 24 8 i like that not 24 I, I, 7 24 again, 8. again i can only put it back into basketball stuff that's why hubie brown was elite at what he did coached me his whole thing was, man, if it don't affect seven o'clock, if it don't affect noon on Sunday, yeah, or one o'clock on Sunday, what the hell? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, did I show up and do my job or not? It's easy to see on hey, tape listen. now. Mm-hmm. I, I had, got the most interceptions. Did I do my job, man? I'm going to touch. Hey, man, I had <laughs> Dolphin defense on my fantasy. Boy, it was a couple <laughs> games where y'all toe asses up Bro. to my 30, 40. You know how hard it is to get. First of all, you start with 30 points on your defense with fantasy. So if you end the game with 30 or 40 Damn. points, that's like unheard <laughs> of. Like, it was games where these the defense was winning games for me. Yeah. So I don't know where they was partying at, but that's <laughs> working. <laughs> Did he keep doing it? I don't know where they were partying at. Because the defense was winning games for me, no, dog. Yeah. Hey, don't fix it, huh? Straight <laughs> up. The defense was <laughs> winning games for me, dog. Like you and Ramsey and, you know, Watkins. And it was just, yeah, I was winning games for me. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I just wanted to get you to speak on that because obviously I'm a fan. And I understand that, goddamn, this city is undefeated now. Yeah. The streets to take you out here. Yeah, definitely. For will. sure. Now you gotta definitely have some will. balance. You gotta hey. balance that out because you will tip over and <laughs> yeah. fall out. Of it. So you gotta man, have you gotta some balance. You gotta understand it's wild out here, man. Like like you said, you definitely gotta have some balance, man. You gotta know you got to, your job first, then yeah. that second. Yeah, yeah, y'all did y'all thing. Yeah. So I wanted you to speak on that because I ain't believe that. Oh yeah, it was I it's BS, that. man. You can't do. Then that, you can't man. respect it if you say it when you gone. Yeah, you say it while you was here. Right. <laughs> That's just my take. And we still young too, though. Like some guys still young on the team. Yeah. Of course, guys gonna want to enjoy their life. Everybody though. ain't married. Yeah. Everybody ain't got kids. Right. That's just something you gotta understand. I had to understand that as an OG. Like yeah. everybody ain't gonna do what I do. Right. 
in that, in our respect. As long as your ass show up and time to work, you ready. Don't then people, it. you born and raised here, you, you understand it though, but people coming from Texas or Cali, it's a totally different lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's like, like you said, it can suck you in. Speaking they can spit your ass out. <laughs> you can now win up to 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. That's right, four correct picks. You can turn $10 into 1000 Come on, man, who doesn't want to do that? With NBA, NHL, and college basketball entries today on Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. Whether it's tournament season or a fight for the playoff home court, there's no shortage of high stakes basketball moments this time of the year. Get in on the excitement. Get in on the action with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app, where you can turn your latest hoops knowledge into some serious cash, bro. Prize Picks has something for every sports fan, from NBA and NHL to the League of Legends and everything in between. You can pick LeBron James, Caitlin Clark, Connor McDavid and Jude Bellingham, all in the same entry. Download the Prize Picks app today and use code OGs for your first deposit match of up to $100. Pick more or pick less, it's that easy. We all know life can be crazy sometimes, it is for all of us, but one person's negligence can result in another one's settlement. So when you're seriously hurt, your injury could be worth millions. You can hit up Morgan & Morgan, they'll fight to get you those millions. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 1,000 lawyers. Life is hard. Hiring Morgan & Morgan? Now that's easy, too easy. Making a three with just one shoe on in the NBA Finals, now that is hard. Hiring a Morgan & Morgan? That's easy. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free. I said that right, it is free unless they win. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash the OGs or dial pound law, pound 529 from your cell phone. That's forthepeople.com slash the OGs or pound law, pound 529 from your cell phone. This is a paid advertisement. Speaking of Texas, Houston might not be a bad look for you this summer. Hey, listen oh, yeah, now. Yeah. Hey, listen H now. Down. Shout hey. out, hey, listen. <laughs> Shout out Andre Johnson, my dog. Oh, Miami yeah. High Stingery, Hall, Hall of Famer. Famer. Shout out, yeah. homie. Much love. Oh, but yeah, the Texans. Oh, yeah. From Houston. From Houston. Talk, where, where that? Because I played home my whole career. Would you like to be, Would you like to have the opportunity? I would love to do that, man. Especially back at home, the crib. You know, um, I wouldn't say I've always been a Houston, Texas fan. But this all season, I'm a very Houston, Texas fan. <laughs> hey, listen. Like, hey, we I even got, I've been had it tatted on me, though. But listen, I even got Houston, Rock, uh, Houston Rockets and the Texas tatted on me. But, really? Uh, the Houston Rockets? We're going to talk about that. Yeah, we're we going to touch I'm from that. the crib, so I had, it was only right. Yeah, but damn. <laughs> I'm sure you got Miami Dolphins tattooed. Man, that man got Dolphins. In the heat. That man got Miami. You know what? I ain't, you're right. <laughs> I ain't been. Because I, I was about to say the <laughs> Texas ain't won nothing in a while, but the Dolphins ain't either. So I'm going to leave that alone. You know what? Even swap, no swindle. Everybody cool. I'm going to leave that alone. Hold on, hold on. What'd you say? Even swap, Even no swap, swindle. Everybody no cool. Swindle. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can't say nothing. Even right. swap, no swindle. Everybody cool. He I got to use that right. one, man. He absolutely <laughs> right. We ain't won. With the Astros now. Yeah, got them Astros doing their thing. Ooh, yeah. that goddamn Altuve and them boys. Oh, oh, they different. They something special over there. They you different. know I watch baseball like that killer digit. Oh, that's because you can't <laughs> play. See, Stop. look at that. I surprised Stop. you. Stop, dude. You, I no, you be throwing some jams out there that shot the shit out of I surprised you. I surprised you. OG for real, man. No, yo, OG yeah. for real. So the Texans, though, so is that, that's a realistic option? Yeah, that's definitely a realistic option for me, man. Um, they got a... Man, they got a hell of a quarterback over a young guy. Yes, rookie year. Stroud. Yeah, he did his thing. Yes, sir. He helped me win he, fantasy too. Appreciate you, boy. Man, they did their thing. Collins. Yeah. Y'all sure, took care of me. They oh, got a little yeah. tank over there too, though. He's yes, he still got hurt. Man, yes, he's, he's special, nice too. Man. Little small guy. He's Dalton special, Schultz though. just got a signed dog. back. Yeah. They're gonna be out. That's a tight end, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's smooth. No, but if it's if it's to me again, I, I, I love watching football. I don't know the ins and outs of it at all as far as what that looks like. But if it's what you were talking about earlier, though, it gives you a chance. Like they're good. Yeah. So you, you know, and, and, and that's something that you don't have to necessarily win a championship or Super Bowl year one. Yeah. But if you build into it, they give you the money that you deserve. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? That you've earned. Uh, yeah. And now you have a chance to build into it because they're going to be knocking at the door. There's Damn. no question about it. Damn. Like I said, that's one you get your job. You do your job on one end. You get your stop. You feel really, really comfortable handing that big up thing over to CJ. Oh, Scott for sure. Like, okay, go win yes. this one. Yeah, for and sure. And they got a defensive guy coaching. Yeah. D'Amico yeah. Ryan. That's what, that's what I they like. They got a defensive guy I love coaching. the defensive D'Amico Ryan coach, was with San Francisco when yeah. it was tan up, which yeah. they still tanned up defensively, but D'Amico Ryan came from San Francisco, and now he's over there with the Houston Texans. Also a player coach type of guy, like yeah. guys we can relate to, guys you want to go fight for and go to war for. But so the they got a good opportunity part, over there. 
Brian Flores was like that, bro. I liked it, Flores. Like, I missed Flores. He get all the this and that in the media, though. But, bro, he was a player coach guy, though. But it was like he came from the Patriots, so it's like he seen greatness from the yeah. GOAT. Yeah. So it's like it's his standard, like how he hold guys around him. That's our team, the, um, the, the Dolphins on that time, like – he held everybody to a standard. Yeah. Like me and Flores probably wasn't no buddy buddy this and that, but I respect him. Yeah. That's how all he that came in there. Yeah. That's how he came in there every day. He approached every day the same way. No matter who you is, he gonna chew your ass out. You ain't doing something right. And he ain't gonna dap you up if you're doing something good. Yeah. You supposed to do that. Don't worry about it. Crazy thing. Tough is, love. <laughs> crazy thing is we never met, but we had. I don't know if it was a mutual friend, but I had actually had Coach Flores' number, and we would text from time yeah. to time and just minor conversations. And I actually wanted to have an opportunity to come speak to the team again. But I came to speak to the team a while ago. Yeah. Um, before you got, or probably before you got there, but I wanted to come back and speak again, but I never really had the opportunity. Things didn't work out with Flores, but we had like a little minor, you know, conversation from Man, time to time job. about trying to get by and just have conversations with the team and just yeah. speak on my journey, leadership and different things like that. Yeah. So I definitely not surprised to hear what you said. About oh yeah, great guy, man, great guy. I'm glad we talked about the Houston Texans, but we all know you're going to my team, the Minnesota Vikings. We'll call it a go. Thank you. Is that Flo, Flo is, is over that, there, though. <laughs> Flo over there. I'm just saying, Flo is over Flo there. Flo is over there, the defensive I mean, coordinator. We're talking, yeah, we're right? And they did their thing, I mean, though. Defense, I feel like defense did their thing last year. They the Vikings, did. Though, man. They were and it's good. like the talent that they have, you're like, yeah. wow. They were good. So, so yeah. do you have like a list? Because I saw, I saw something today I was paying attention with Russell Wilson, and he's got like these teams he's going to visit. Like, how does that work? Do y'all fill out a list? Or do your agent come and be like, okay, this is what's available. These are the things we need to look at. Like, this is your first time, yeah, but first how, time. How, how has it been going so far? Say the truth, I won't really find out, in, find out until like April or something like that. But it's like the teams that I've seen on the social media was the Detroit, Texans, the Vikings. Ah, <laughs> hey, boy, I like Dan Campbell too now. Yeah. I like Dan Campbell too now. The crazy yeah, boy, he was with the Dolphins though. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I like yeah, Dan. I remember yeah, we had too. Dan down here. Yeah, he said he running now, things over there like military. That's no more that I still remember his name. That's, <laughs> that's right down they the road. They say he runs stuff like a military though. Yeah, that's but right though. That's some people work. I need it. It, it worked. Work. You see it work. Yeah, and it's like, I won't mind Detroit. Work. Even though it looked cold like Man. that, I won't mind Detroit. Right though. Down. They we got a team though, bro. Vikings they got had a team to face you twice a year. I don't know about all yeah. that, coach. Yeah. <laughs> hey man. How come, when, the how, come, how come when we spent three seconds on the Vikings, we talk about everybody else? Whatever team I pick, okay, I gotta cool. make sure they have a quarterback. Yeah, bro. that's what I'm saying. But me and him just talking about we ain't gonna know until April. Okay, well <laughs> we'll see. So when you get when you line up, because again, the, the, the football stuff amazes me, man. You sit up in there, you're out there on that island. Who are the five toughest wide receivers you sit across and be like, damn? This is a great conversation to have. No question. Man. I say um, Tyreek number one, I'm sorry. Oof. Tyreek Hill, he did Cheetah. it, bro. Cheetah. Um, Devontae Adams. Um, Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs, okay. Jamar Chase. He different, bro. Yeah, Justin his feet work. He different. He different. I like to say feet work. Oh yeah, I gotta give it just, just, yeah. Yeah, Justin, yeah. Jefferson, Justin Jefferson. See, we're gonna sure. sneak some Vikings yeah. in Justin Jefferson. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But it's so many good elite receivers. There are. Bro. Yes. Like it's crazy though. But just, Justin Jefferson. Does a lot of sure. it have to do with the quarterback throwing the ball to him though, too? Right? Or no? Um, it, it do. But it's got you got some guys that like can run some routes though. Like they some run some routes and Reek, bro. He got one speed, bro. Like and it's speed every kills, right? Speed kills. That's some shit you can't coach. No doubt. Like, I feel like, I'm like, I can hold my own, but I'm gonna need some help, bro. Yeah. I can't run, Just what are you running? 4-2, 4-3, 24-7, bro. Yeah, I can't do crazy. that, bro. Like, I'm gonna need some help. See, I was crazy. I was an elite flag football player. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and when a <laughs> will come at me full speed and give me the old freaking Watusi, I'd be done. <laughs> so, be I'm trying to figure out, like. <laughs> like nobody so, got that, man. So, <laughs> but what I'm saying, like, when they come at full speed, like, Tyreek. Yeah. I mean, I you, you got I a little got, height got, on you too, though. Yeah, it's hard. But I gotta imagine though, like I'm forcing him one direction. I don't care what happens. Is that what's happening or no? Man, he beating that angle. Easier though. said than oh, done. He beating man. that angle though. I don't Easier know. That's what I'm done. saying. I don't know. I, I don't want to be there. I'm not. I mean, I, man, just I, shoot. I, just I, shoot your shot, man. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. miss it. Try yeah. to get you. Try to get a jam. It, yeah. Maybe slow Hope down. But if you miss, your ass is toast. Your ass is grass. Yeah, man, praying that get to him. <laughs> Your best friend's defensive line? Yeah, for sure. For sure you you always play in. DB? Because, uh, like, uh, in high school, was you ever? Because I know and a lot a of guys get moved. Really? Yeah, I was a quarterback. Wow. Yeah, I was quarterback for probably my last two years in high school. Then I end up um, going to Baylor as an atle uh, athlete. Then they end up moving me to um, cornerback. Wow. Yeah. So sometimes, do they say this? Because they know, like, when, sometimes if you go from quarterback to cornerback, did you have a mental advantage? 
like understanding the game from the other side because as a quarterback you know what you're looking for like I tell people yeah. all the time I wasn't a scorer but I can tell you how to score because I know what I didn't want to face. Right. I know what I didn't want somebody right. to do to me. I was a defender. He didn't want to face me. He said he, said he didn't want to face me. <laughs> <laughs> he was a shooter. I ain't had no oh, yeah. business out there anyway. Damn. He was a shooter. I ain't had no business out there anyway. Right. <laughs> but I, I wasn't a scorer, but I could tell people what to do because I know what I didn't want somebody to do when I was guarding. Them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So from the other side of it, once you got the DB, you think you had one up on the corner on the quarterbacks because you knew really what they were just, looking for, you knew what they were going to try to do. Really just erasing it and just going on to the next play because I, mean, I went to a high school in a hood. They didn't really teach me much, you know, just being an athlete. <laughs> get out though. there and go. Yeah, get out there yeah. and go. Make so plays. that's yeah, that's really was probably just moving on to the next play. But um as I got older and really understand the game, because I got to a point where um we had Adam Gase. I used to go upstairs like probably during the mm-hmm. offseason and mm-hmm. um just meet with him and yeah, be like, Hey, what you think about this? Uh how how they how they coming at me like this? Like what can I do better and this and that. And I always just been a student to the game trying to learn what the opposite um team quarterback what they're trying to do to me. You know, I had Adam number two. I oh, was yeah. kind of on the staff with y'all. You ain't even know it. I just talked to Adam too, actually. I was on the oh, staff, yeah. and they didn't even know it. Oh, yeah, you know Adam Gates, man. Shout out to him, man. You said, so being a student of the game, I ended up having an opportunity. I went out to the Chicago Bears uh, practice, and I did training camp, and I spent some time with them one day. I came out of the yard practice. I came, actually, when Adam was there. Um, yeah, I don't know how y'all watch so much damn film. We watch film, but y'all watch film. Man. Like, y'all watch film. Like, you know what I'm saying? And like, we cut the lights off and it's like 15 and somebody might be able to doze. Yeah. You ain't dozing in the film. When you get the receivers, when you go to the film with the receivers and you go to the film with the, Q, the, the cornerbacks, you ain't dozing though. No. But that's a lot of damn film. They watch, how can y'all watch so much damn film, dog? Bruh, like, it's crazy though. Like, how many hours of film do y'all watch? Honestly, real talk. It depends. You got some guys, like some guys go home and watch film too, though. It's before practice starts, some guys watch it, but it's like we watch it with the coaches, okay? Then we go to practice, come back, break, come back. Like, bro, almost probably, I say probably like 10, 12 hours, bro, film. Then when you at home by yourself, I probably get like an hour, hour and 30. Killer. <laughs> It's, it's, no, it's, 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 it's unbelievable how much film they watch in a, in a practice, in a training camp, in, in, in one day. It's unbelievable. It's the, it's the cheat code too, though. But if you watch a film all day, like I watch film, but I'm like, man, I play cornerback, so everybody going they gonna have tendencies and stuff that they show. But it's like sometimes I don't want to just watch too much film because I don't want to be guessing. Be like, yeah. I seen this. This is exactly what they about to do, and just start out there guessing because it's I guess wrong. I'm touchdown. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You gotta I'm let touchdown. You play again. So you gotta make sure you know. Like most, I'm reacting to everything. Like. Cornerback, you react to everything the receiver do. So I just trust reacting my reactive skills on whatever the receiver doing and stuff like that. And sometimes I probably take like three or four plays that I that I knew for sure that they was gonna run, and I take Break, advantage of the opportunity. Yeah. You bite on it. Yeah. So Go get I, it. Again, for people at home, I know nothing about this, but <laughs> but for me, the cornerback is the most lonely, difficult position in football. For sure. Not yes. even close. Man, it's different on that island, man. Yeah. That's, 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 that's why. Good. That's why you get paid a lot of money, man. Because yeah, it's like. Get, Man, listen, that's that's a that's a brutal job. If you're starting a team, though, all right, now you're a GM. Mm-hmm. Is the is the most important position the quarterback position? Ooh. That's a great question. Damn. Because I hear people all the time, like coming up into the draft, right? The draft's yeah. coming. Okay, you put the you put the Bears. They always yeah. talk about resetting and yeah. trade Justin Fields and blah 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 and go get Caleb ah. Williams. We can have our opinions on that, but what I'm saying is, like, some people say, well, go get a go get an average t- or go get a really good team. Mm-hmm. And then give yourself an average quarterback, you have a chance. So sure. other people say, go get you a star quarterback, and then try to figure it out. So I'm curious if it's like, like to me, that's obviously you so, look at the, the, the champion this year again. It's Mr. Goat himself. I, I just about to say that Mahomes, right? You know what I'm saying? Like Mahomes. he's the man. Like yeah, there's he's no the denying man. it. And so it's like it's hard to argue that fact if it ain't the quarterback. Because yeah. before that, it's Brady. Yeah. Right. Like so. Yeah. But, but I'm, they I'm made curious. players better around yes, them, though. 100%. Yes. No, no, no. no. Yeah. That's, that's, what, that's why I asked you before on, yeah. a, on the wide receivers, does the quarterback play a big role in that? Because when you're naming the top five guys, it's a talent. Yeah. All those guys, I don't want to see none of that. Yeah. But the quarterback make them better. I mean, obviously they do. But yeah. So if you're starting a team, is the quarterback position position one that we need? Like when you're looking at so the agency So it depends on how the receivers, what type of receivers you got. Yeah. I feel like that. Okay. Running back, running back going to help out a lot. Mm-hmm. But it's like what type of receivers you got. That's how you know what type of quarterback to draft, though. Mm. No, I'm like, glad you said that. I'm over here. I feel yeah, like damn. But uh, quarterback, it depends. If you got 
some average receiver, you got to get a good quarterback. That's I feel like I feel like I'm on uh, guys I'm right. on Berman and ESPN right now. <laughs> so so tell me tell me why the 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 running back position is getting like they're getting value the way they're getting value. But they're talking about I don't know if I want to pay a guy 10, 11 million. Yeah. You're talking about it's a huge value add. That that to me I, I don't know. I mean I grew up watching quarterback mm-hmm. or running backs. You know yeah. like that was the yeah. shit, but right. I'm old. It's the game. It it changed and you know. Um, I think in longevity, I like the running backs. It ain't that like their career don't be that long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. it's in their primes. Like me, I'm like, I'm thinking like, if I'm a running back coming out first first round and stuff like that, I feel like they should get paid early, bro. Yeah. Because it's like, they, they career is not that long at the running back position. Mm-hmm. And running the ball, depending on if your team run the ball, throw the ball a lot. <laughs> and it's right. like, wear and tear, bro, on your knees, yeah, bro. Yeah. And you a running back. No, they take a lot of pounding. They take a lot of pounding, yeah. bro. And it's like, you ain't got the right quarterback, it's they're going to do. Run a damn ball. And it's like. One, one thing I will say, and, and I'm going to go back to the running back thing, is what I've noticed have teams been doing is saying, let's pay an offensive lineman. For sure. Because depending on who we put back there, as long as we got a good offensive line, yeah. they also should be successful. Also known as Aaron Rodgers. When yeah. you look at situations where the, the first running back go down, unfortunately, the first couple of games, and then the backup come in and rush for a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> and then if they saying, hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the business side. That's what make a running back. That's the business side. The front, the front make a not, running back. I'm not taking away from the talent of the running backs because yeah. they're extremely talented. Right. But you know, like you said, the window is short, and they saying as long as we play the line and we got a great line, mm-hmm. you know, we can put anybody back there. We can put different people back yeah. there. Now I don't agree with that because, like I said, you got Saquon Barkley and people like that. That's just crazy what yeah, they do. Different. Like, they, they different. Yeah. Levels, they deserve there's still, every time. There's, there's still levels to it yeah. for sure. Yeah. You get a quarterback back there that spins it, man. Like that opens up that running game too. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I agree. I agree. So, and man. a lot of times these guys got to be multifaceted. They got to be able to run. And in sometimes catch. you can keep them in the backfield for third downs. We ain't yeah. trying to – we want to pay you all this money. We ain't trying to pull you out on third down. Yeah. We want your ass in here <laughs> one through four. One through four. <laughs> one through four, Jack. Yeah. And then five if we got another one. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I understand both sides of it. But I do think these guys deserve their money while they sure. can. Because, once again, it ain't guaranteed either. It's not, like, they'll take it's it, not guaranteed. Cut you quick in yeah. the NFL, which is crazy to me. Yeah. Cutthroat business, man. Yeah, it's crazy. That's what we signed up for, though, man. Hey, That's it's why you got to hey, get your it, bread. It's a blessing. Yeah. You take the cutthroat all with it. It's, there's bad, good, and everything, but yeah, there's way more it, good man. in this business. Yeah. No, for sure. No, yeah, way for sure. more good You're in this right about business. That. Uh, another question I was looking at, like, so in basketball, we just, we just in all our podcasts, mm. we talk about the defense and, ba- the defense and basketball because of the rules mm-hmm. have changed how much they score. Has the defensive rules in football really help the offense they want more scoring they definitely do they want more scoring man it's like back in the days like i look at the re- cornerbacks bro they used to choke reva's island reva's <laughs> island oh yeah Reeves, that's man that's my favorite buddy really? him and champ bailey wow yeah, champ, champ, champ bailey, bailey, legends, though. Champ bailey was champ bailey was a boss yeah for sure. i love this game bro but um it's you can't really do much with the receivers man it's like they want more scoring like Take, that's what sell tickets. That's what get people excited. Like Same scoring thing touchdowns. Basketball, so. Yeah, and it's like it's it's hard playing on defense because it's like at the end of the day, they want you to protect the quarterback. Yes, yes. That's yes. that's number one. Protect yes, the quarterback. Yes. Like I seen guys in my career get hurt trying to protect the quarterback. Though. Yes. And it's like God damn. Like like even with Kareem Jackson, like they find him a couple times because yeah. of how he hit. Yeah, but it's like yeah. bro, like how you want me to protect yeah, yeah. myself and protect him? Mm-hmm. One of us got to go. All, all the same, team. All, Tell the quarterback don't throw the damn ball like that. All, all the <laughs> yeah. same time, you're going full speed. Full speed, bro. Like that's, if you don't, if you don't get that hit, everyone gonna be booing your ass. Yeah, for I sure. Mean, <laughs> get him out of here. <laughs> Tom, Tom, Tom Brady made a great nobody. point. Tom Brady made a great point. Is like that was part of what you were scheming for when you was playing against teams. Yeah. Like I knew not to throw the ball across the middle because right. Ray Lewis gonna kill somebody. Yeah. So I knew not to even look that way. Yeah. Like, so this is part of just the, the intimidation factor, the mental part of the mm-hmm. game is understanding, like, I don't want to throw the ball here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they taking that part out of it too. So even somebody from a perspective of Tom Brady, who was offensive player, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? He still got to speak on that. And he spoke on it as being a little too soft and too, a little too touchy feely too, you know what I'm saying? For sure, man. We might well just turn to seven on seven, man, at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It's funny, day. it's funny how like the, the NBA and NFL, because we said here, they, they've kind of, Kind of taking the same growth pattern the offenses like everyone's bitching in the nba about yeah. they're scoring too much they're taking the defense out of the game right they ain't taking the defense out of football they're still hits but it's not like it used to be right what leads me to the question like i know you're a basketball dude like i was going to ask you a basketball dude but then i came across this clip 
Oh yeah. Oh, we and saw I, you. And oh, yeah. I, and yeah. I, I seen I seen you hit him with a You were getting to it. I was surprised. You were getting to it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm so doing it. Oh, wow. You know you put him in a blender with his ponytail <laughs> flat. You know you put him in a blender with his ponytail yeah. flat. Yeah. Oh, no, I was getting some buckets, man. That's my favorite. Yeah, come here. I think that's Gump Lead, man. Stay there. Shout out to Gump Lead, man. Gump Lead. Yeah. I like that's elite town out there. Man, that was my first love, basketball, bro. For real? Really? Yeah, man. Like when I first went to high school, I ended up. Uh, my um, ninth grade year, I was hooping. Then uh, some of the guys knew I played football um, in Lily, and they wanted me to get on the field. Like, so I got on the field probably my tenth grade year. I wasn't even playing, bro. And they had me in like number eighty six, bro. They was cheating me like a scrub. Like that, <laughs> they gave you eighty six. Yeah. Then I had to earn, earn my way up there. Then I ended up becoming the starting quarterback. <laughs> bro, I'm talking about football. football. Oh, okay. Yeah. When I came yeah, on the field, okay. they ended up um, yeah. putting eighty six on. I'm like, bro, y'all, I'm going back to this court, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they threw you eighty six. I went back to eighty six, bro. Yeah. I'm like. No, bro. Speaking of basketball, you you got a little investment going on. With oh yeah, basketball. You got a little money in here. Oh yeah, a little Atlanta yeah. Hawks, man. I Atlanta up, Hawks. Yeah, huh? Atlanta Hawks. I ended up getting on that deal. Um, one of the guys, um, Craig Brown, um, my accountant, like he he represents a bunch of guys, and yeah. um, a baseball guy ended up um, telling him about the deal, and a couple of guys ended up investing in it. I Sport love blue. baseball guys, man. Oh yeah, I, I used, man. when I t- I tried, we talked about it with my. I trainer. wish I could have played baseball. I told we talked about my trainer. <laughs> my trainer, you know what? <laughs> Damn, ain't never lied, boy. What? He ain't never lied, boy. I'm y'all, y'all, right. y'all, right. I mean, y'all right. Y'all right. Basketball, right? right. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, I trained with with the baseball guys over at Barmeritos. We talked about that earlier, yeah. and um, I actually got along with baseball guys. Great, they smart. Yeah, we got good conversation. Like they're some of the coolest people to be around. Oh you yeah, know what I'm oh, saying yeah. like they're real cool dudes. So going back to basketball though, so you grew up, you love basketball. Yeah. So, do you, anyone else on the team down here, y'all go bump, do anything, go play at all? Or um, how does that work for football? Because me and DD in off season, then we're going to play football, yeah, you know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> now, some guys be hooping around. Like, some guys, crazy boy, some guys don't even work out. They just hoop all day because it's like, man, you running up and down the court. Like, that's your workout, though. Yeah. But some guys be doing it. I try not to stay away from it because I had a lot of knee injuries, yeah. so I ain't got time to be on that court playing around. Man, I'm trying to get, trying to get paid. But you, wa- but you watch the NBA? For sure. Who's yeah. your favorite team? I'm about, to, yeah, I'm about to hold him accountable. Bro, I really ain't. Yeah. I'm about to hold you accountable, Damn. dog. Cause I you, really ain't got a team. I just like players, Who's your player? Bro. Who's your player? Oh, you don't you dare. Don't you dare. As hard as I cheer for you. As hard as I cheer for you. Nah. Don't you dare. As hard as I cheer for you, You be in there, though. Don't do that to me, You in there, bro. Don't do that to me, dog. You in there, bro. I be coming to y'all games, man. I support, bro. I support the team, bro. You can't I support the whole team. No, I support the whole team, bro. I got to, bro. Give a show a little love back, man. I'm going to come to a game, man. Outside the Hawks. Outside the Hawks. Outside the Hawks. And outside the Houston. Rockets. 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 Yeah. Who's your who's your player and who's your team? Man, I like LeBron James. You, you can't go wrong. Hey, LeBron, you can't go wrong. You can't, you can't sure go wrong. Can. Oh, listen here. Doing a long up. time. Man. We got a front row seat. I wish I was here when I, when, I, when I was playing, man. Yes, back in the day, man. I know Miami's crazy. We got two bro. big LeBron James fans. Next yeah. Yeah. We got a front. We got a front row seat. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something. You know it's special. Like how you say, Reek. You will say you know you're gonna need some help. Yeah. Like yeah, we watch it sometimes in practice. We be going at it and everybody be hooping it and the whole practice stop. You just do some. That they can't nobody in this world That's do. Crazy. When you see it, you just like. Yeah. Hey, you messed me up. I seen a podcast when you said Dwayne Wade beat Brian one on one. That was one game. One game. That was one game. One game. That was one game. I'm like, what? That was one game. First of all, appreciate you tuning in. Oh yeah, I got thank you, you, man. Thank you. I got thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Listen. Yeah. Let me see. see this. That was one game. <laughs> okay. Everybody know who the best player in the world is. For sure. And to me, he still is. Yeah. I understand. There's a lot of young. Huh? <laughs> no, listen, that no, yeah. Listen. yeah, and no, listen, but once again, that was greatness. That was iron shopping an iron. Right. No you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I had, a front, win. Row, I had yeah. a front row seat to, you know what I'm saying, witness greatness at, at its finest. So D Wade won that particular game, mm-hmm. but there were more games, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if I seen all of them. I only saw them play that one time. Okay. But I'm sure they, they played more games, but I only saw them play that one time. And that one time I saw D Wade win that game. Yeah. Now Another thing that people didn't quite understand <laughs> when they talk about who was the most important player on our team as opposed to who was the best player you said on Chris our team. Chris Bosh, right? Yes, LeBron was the best player on our team. Yeah. The most on important Earth, player, by the way. Oh, yeah, the best player on planet Earth. But mm-hmm. the most important player on our team was Chris Bosh because of the matchups he created. Right. See, a lot of times when Bron and D Wade needed to get into that paint, they was attackers. You talking about two guys that get downhill, get into the paint. Now, when you got a guy like Chris Bosh who can mm-hmm. space the floor, that takes the five man away from the basket. Right. And that just allows LeBron and Dwayne to do their work? best version yeah. into that basket. So now, yes, Chris Bosh did start, did start at, a, at the four for us, mm-hmm. but a lot of times we slide him to the five. 
So now when Bron and D-Way get in that paint, we spraying to Chris. So yeah. you need that. Easy. For yeah. those guys to be their best version, right. Chris Bosh had to bring it all together. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm saying. That's Coach Haslam. The, yeah. best player, <laughs> the, the best player in the world then and still is today is LeBron James, brother. No, hit the hands down. Hey, uh, so Anthony Elwood's coming up too. Buddy. Right? Bro, <laughs> well, he different, bro. We've been screaming he at y'all. Different, this bro. is the face of the league right now, bro, in my he opinion. Different. Yeah, and, and like I say, it's very rarely do I'm, um, you know, see a, a young fella that just embody a lot of the things that you know I embody. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, but he and the leadership, the dog mentality, the 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 you know the just to have the the the, the mindset to you know have everybody 15 guys on one accord yeah. you know what i'm saying and 15 guys that think how you think and act how you act and just change the mindset of what they're doing in minnesota not right. just basketball wise but just defensively and winning the game like everybody out there feel like a dog even if they ain't a dog right. but and yeah, is a right dog so i'm with a dog so yeah. i act like a dog and it just trickles down man and i just For love sure. the way he's leading that team so and, that's how and I um it. what's this guy uh, i think brunson is it Brunson point guard? Man, bro, he give me nightmares. I'm a point guard too, so I, I love his game. Man, bro. give me nightmares, man. Man, he different, bro. I, can, I don't know. He came out of nowhere too, though, man. Man, I'm the like, man bro. got all the moves. Yeah. All the moves. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, at the combine, would have ran a 7 5 40 too. <laughs> <laughs> but give you buckets. Damn. He give you yeah. everything you want. Yeah, that's the man got up, all man. the games. Yeah. So, yeah. And he lefty. That's the hard, man. I hate playing lefty. I, I, I got to shout out to my boy down the road, so, though, Orlando. Paulo Bancaro coming too. Now, y'all got to yeah. start showing yeah. some love to my yeah. man. Yeah. Listen, now. Oh, yeah. Bad boy. Like, bad man. I feel like, I like it's Orlando. Orlando. That's the only I thing. I know. We're starting to get there. We're fourth in the East. Okay. Okay. So, talk to us. What you think? Like, when you say Paulo and I fourth in the East and all that, so oh, I'm gonna I'm give you what I think. Because <laughs> oh, I was gonna say you played here, Jack. I know. I'm okay, so what you? Okay, so what you saying? I love both. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. Well, eventually, you got to pick a side. Yeah, hey, right. We ain't gonna do it today. I, I can't bang him. <laughs> well, he an asshole. So. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the show then. <laughs> <laughs> the Hawks or the Rockets? Because you got money Gosh, over there, damn, but see, your home you got, is over here. What I'm trying to tell you. Man. You just want to pick up and leave? Man. <laughs> the Hawks are the Rockets. You got money over here, but your heart is over here. Bro. I got an easy answer for you. Neither I, I like, be there. I like Damn. the Rockets. Bow, Damn. Bow, bow, bow. They're not right now. Why you do shots like that? Hold bro? up. Atlanta going to be there. Trey if Trey out, get healthy. Trey yeah, Trey if, Trey, if Ice. Trey out. No, no. Ice, Trey no, get Ice Trey is a mother. Ice Trey. No, but the reality of the situation, he's going to be out for a while. I like DeAndre Murray. I like their team. Yeah. But the reality of the situation is like, let's be honest. You think Atlanta Hawks are going to win a championship this year? No, oh, I ain't Rockets said, I ain't, no, no, I ain't said that, but if he had Like, choose. I watched the Rockets play. They got a young team. No, no, bro. they're talented as hell, too. Yeah, yeah they got a young team. Like that. I, I feel I like agree. if they get an old head over there, just get everything right, though, everything they control, because it's like, bro, you got Jalen Green. It's another guy, um, a young boy, though. He's like a rookie. He's been snapping, bro. A man, Thompson. I'm trying to see what number he is. A man, Thompson. Oh, the young fella. Twin. I, four, I, I, zero or four. Yeah. His brother. Yeah, his yeah. Brother's a, no, yeah, he different. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. He different. He, I'm telling you, I went and watched him play uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago now, in Memphis. That's where I live. And he, he's a menace, bro. Yeah. He impacted the game at every – you would love him. Man, he going to drive like, and finish, bro. Oh, he's, yeah, he's an elite day. athlete. Yeah. He's on – like, it's stat line I was going to read right now, like six for eight from the field, 14, nine, eight, seven, four. <laughs> It's ridiculous. It's just a menace. Like you get down, you're like, damn, he's got to be exhausted. Well, they yeah. got, they got another menace. My favorite player, Dylan Brooks. Yeah, Dylan yeah. Brooks. I like him. Oh yeah, I like Dylan Brooks. And they got I Alfred like him. Sagoon. Yeah, they got, oh. they that got, boy got feet work. Van Fleet. That boy got yeah. feet Jabari work. Smith. They got a young talent. They, they got, got a young talent. But you said OG. exactly what the yeah. OGs talk about all the time. They need to add an OG in there yeah. that knows who he is because right now they got so many dudes at the same level trying to figure out. I need to get paid first. Yeah. No. Right, and so yeah. when you figure that, once you once you get there and everyone gets paid, well, you can't keep them all, so you got to make decisions. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, and then you got to add OGs and that know who they are and are are happy with where they're at in life. Yeah, they play that their all role. care about is winning the championship. championship. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So now you'll sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Like there's so that's why I say that winning a championship, man. Like one for us on basketball, you got to be playing with the great one of the greatest players on planet Earth. Yeah. That's one. Like if you look at the last ten championships. Yeah. They were top five players on yes, planet Earth. Yes, yeah. yes. And then yes. the rest of the guys need to be unselfish, sacrifice, and be be Great willing to be players. road dummies. Yeah. yeah. Period. Yeah. Like and so like that's where those teams got to get to that point. Same thing when I talk about Orlando, Miami just does it because their culture is that way. Like you're forced to do that. Yeah. That's why they're great at it. Oh, you yeah. won't be here. No doubt. Yeah. You get your ass up out of here. <laughs> you got to get like your ass up out of here. That's why it ain't for everybody. Like yeah. you got to sacrifice as soon as you hit the dough down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you hit the dough down here. Because you did. Everybody else yeah, got to do it. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure, for sure. Well, that's the way you're going to win. You don't yeah. even ask the question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said, Killer, what you say? You don't even ask the question. <laughs> hey. That's 
frowned hey, upon down no, here. You don't ask the question. What's my role? But that's bitch. the culture, man. You yeah. got to I mean, you gotta yeah, what's my fit role? in where you fit in at, man. <laughs> you ask the question, what's my role? Roll your ass about it. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, listen, role definition is. <laughs> role it's definition. Set in stone. What? Yeah. You don't have a choice, Jack. Damn. <laughs> you ever see those heat guys on the streets? No, you be I don't. out of there now. Oh, you talking me? Yeah. The young no, boys. Really Not me. Don't mean. I really don't even see the young boys, though. Good. Yeah, I don't see them. I mean, I'm doing my job. Yeah. He did, hey, listen, <laughs> he takes that shit. Yeah. He gets, he oh, gets, like, feels well, a call. Well, well, what I will say is, you can enjoy your life, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna just teach you how to move out here. Yeah. Once again, how you talked about, I ain't expecting nobody to be robots. Like, yeah. Yeah, they, everybody ain't married with kids, so mm -hmm. you gotta go out here, you gotta enjoy the fruits of your labor. You worked hard. This is an amazing city. You're welcome to come down here and enjoy the festivities. Yeah. But in certain places, you better not be. There's certain things you can't not be doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and I make that known real yeah. clear, man. I mean, it ain't no coincidence, but, you know, since I've been a part of this franchise, you don't really hear about much going on off the court. No, you, you don't hear about, about that. You don't be hear about you nobody about getting that. robbed. Yeah. You don't be hear about nobody getting stuck up. Yeah. You don't be hear. You, you let them know where to go, huh? You don't hear. Oh, I'm going to tell you what not to be and what yeah. not to do. Yeah. And nah. if something man, you, do you happen, need that special out here, man. Yeah, sure. And if something do happen, call me. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't they call me for you? I'll figure it out. Why don't call you? Because you a sick. You ain't here to kill me. Too. You ain't here to kill you're an Asian. You are, it's only so much you could do. You're right, you're right. Yeah, you're an Asian. Yeah. It's only so much you could do. Hey, you do, we are a man of the people, so we're going to go to some fan questions because mm. they can't wait to ask them. What, you, what, we, what we say to the fan questions, Killer? Man, it's very, very clear. Okay? Please. Do not DM us on some dumbass. Don't send some dumbass questions. Please. And by our answers, do not what? It is not personal. <laughs> not be cussing us out about right. our opinion on something. We allowed to have an opinion. And these questions are not our questions. They're from the fans. We want to right. we want to involve you guys in this. So we're gonna ask the questions, but don't the shenanigans got to stop. It's got to stop, please. At SGJ Films, can the Dolphins win a chip with Tua? H hell yeah! Yeah, I feel well, like damn, I didn't know you was a guest. Oh, sorry. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, Hey, listen. I feel like they definitely can do that, man. Sorry. I feel like they definitely Listen, want to man. Him. The Ravens won with Trent Dilfer. First Don't of all, Dilfer. First of all, two is exciting now. I, I, I know, yeah. but what I'm saying is the Ravens won with Trent Dilfer. Yeah. So you gonna ask, can we win with two? Two or ten times better than Trent. No disrespect to Trent Dilfer. No disrespect, OG. No, no, we gotta take a timeout. We gotta take a timeout. I just said, don't come at me. That's not my question. Why okay, you my bad. It's a dumbass question, Jack. Okay, that's right. DJ. No disrespect to the OG Trent Dilfer, man. But the Ravens won with Trent Dilfer. Dumb ass question. Yeah, he said no. <laughs> Which guy the little Oh, here you go. I can't even read. That's too long of an at. Which receiver no. talked the most trash to you and then you lock his ass down? He, I added the ass. Bruh. I don't even talk, so no receivers talk trash to me. Really? Bro. Do it yeah, be a lot of trash talking talk. out there? It do though, but that's not me though. I'm mm. like, bro, what what we talking for, bro? This is line <laughs> to go, bro. Like, <laughs> talking like I'm already tired. Like what the we still be talking about, bro. Yeah. Like, bro. It don't make no sense to me. I hate when people talk. I'm like, bro, oh, man, I listen. ain't gonna lie. Um, 49ers, um, um, Brandon IU, he uh -huh. was talking to me, bro. He was like, you don't talk right. For what, bro? We playing football, bro. <laughs> what, what's gangster about being on the field and we just talking <laughs> to each other? No, bro. That's the scariest <laughs> shit when somebody don't say something yeah, back. Like, you just <laughs> firing off shots at this yeah. He refused to respond. You're like, I'm like, bro, what? He's like, <laughs> you don't talk, no. Then he end up picking up. End up picking up fighting with um uh, with Wilkins though he ended up talking shit to him and stuff like that but that's not me bro I don't do that Christian Wilkins don't man. talk man hey listen here Playboy you just real quick uh -oh, go get your glass, money go get glass, your glass, money glasses Christian glasses watch it watch it hey <laughs> love to have you Jack even though you from Boston <laughs> he used to come to our games and chill for the Celtics he did he did hey. yeah I remember this hey. he did. I looked over at him I said hey <laughs> 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 you with us. Yeah. But real talk, get your money, Jack. We right. would love to have you, dog. But you gave us everything you had. We have no quarrels and no love lost if you don't be a part of this organization. You gave us everything, dog. Handle your business as a man and do what you got to do. Thank you for everything if you're not a part of the organization anymore because I'm one of those guys that I appreciate everything. Once again, like I told you, I know your future is somewhere else, but I appreciate you. So yeah, thank you, you Christian. Bro.
Appreciate you, dog. Even oh, yeah. though you chill for the Celtics. Great dude, man. Great dude, man. This is, this is a tough episode for you right now. Yeah, Say it's goodbye. tough. No, listen, I'm going to share the You might about to cry. I'm about to cry. I see why you got the glasses on, man. I'm going to share the glasses on. Thanks for the show, man. Nah, for real. Tough episode for you as a Dolphin fan. I ride by my team. Ain't he Dolphin down right now, too? I watch y'all games in the helmet, bro. Oh, damn. Yeah, I put a helmet on. Hey, yo. Put a picture y'all pull that up because it was on my Instagram. I watch y'all game with a helmet on, bro. My wife think I'm crazy. I bet. For not just wearing a helmet though dang um what is your opinion because this is a, this is a hot topic right now yeah. what is your opinion on future of college football with the nil and the transfer portal because it's getting crazy they getting paid man. they're getting paid but it's like with the trans uh, the transfer protocol i'm thinking it's like back in my time bro we couldn't transfer no way you had to sit out one year or something yeah. like that yeah. and it's like it's teaching people how to quit quit that's bro right. like that's right like no like thug Right, bro. Now there's beat that man out. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Then yeah. it feel like yes. you can't beat him out. Then you go somewhere. Guess what? You can't beat him out. What you gonna do? Transfer again? Mm -hmm. And it's like, bro, it's it's, it's there, making the kids weak, bro. There's certain there's certain things in it that I'm I'm okay with it. I'm happy they get their money yes. though. Yes, I'm okay with some of the transferring when it's like a coach leaves or yeah. like because that was a whole argument, right? A coach can pick up and go get a new job, and make five million dollars a year. Why can't it? Well, if the coach recruited me, I have a relationship with that coach, and he leaves. I get that a little bit, mm -hmm. but I'm with you though. Like if it's over playing time and yeah. recruits coming in, like yo, so at some point, bro, you got to man up. You got to earn yeah. that. You got to come get it, man. And the crazy part, that. I talked to my high school coach, and he was like, "Bro, it's like recruiting wise from high school guys. Like if you ain't a four or five star, you're not getting recruited from the big schools. Yeah. And it's like it's it's hurting the guys that's two star, no yeah. star. Because I want a star." When I came out, wow. like they end up, Baylor end up making a star, bro. Like mm -hmm. I probably was a one star, probably wow. a half, wow. and I end up making it to Baylor and end up took advantage of my opportunity and, and went far with it. But it's like it's hurting a lot of guys, yeah. especially I've been in that position. I know how it is, like being under recruited and stuff like that. I mean, they're not developing talent anymore. Yeah. I'm just gonna go to the portal. But, yeah. But even on yeah. top of that, though, like then it's like, why pick somebody from high school? Yeah, I can I'm just get a guy. Four, five I'm gonna just go to the portal. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. That's what you're gonna do. But I, I tell you, that's crazy though to me because I was in college coaching for a little bit, and recruiting was way easier in college basketball. Like, but if I'm going to watch you play quarterback, yeah, <laughs> and then I'm like, <laughs> I can't put you as a five-star quarterback. I never well, seen you play quarterback. Exactly. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like that to me, like the eyes that these coaches have, like that'd be hard when you're watching a full football game in high yeah. school. Right. right, so I mean, it is what it is. But you made you made something out of it. Oh, yeah. One star. Yes, you oh, yeah. did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're five, a chip you're, on my yeah, shoulder, you're man. You're a five star free agent this summer, though. Let me be yeah. your agent. Well, who are we talking to? <laughs> he is actually <laughs> he's an saying, agent. <laughs> <laughs> he say who he's he talking actually, to? Who we talking to? I'm a five star. Actually, he is I got a five agent. star quarterback right here. Talk to him. I just got one question, and I, this is just my personal question. Anthony Richardson, another Gator. Oh, what I you think he's a stud. What you think about young fella? Man, is he a, I, I think he's gonna be a stud. What no, you I think he'll be a stud. I know he had man. injury, but yeah. his athleticism, injuries his come with it, though. But his athleticism, like he got everything you're looking for in a quarterback, though, bro. This and he can the run the ball too, though. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like the coach got they got a they got a nice receiver over there. I like though. Um, Pittman. Yeah, Pittman. He nice. I like. Yeah, him. he helped me on fantasy. Appreciate yeah. you. Well, <laughs> I, he worked hard. Yeah, oh, man. He I'm know mad. everything. I'm yeah, like, he know the player for us. They franchise tag that boy. Yeah. He won his championship this year, but he came in here walking like he. That's up. Oh yeah, man. Like, he he gonna be good though, man. I feel yeah, like he gonna yeah, be good. I, I just want to touch on that. I, yeah. li I like this question. First of all, the city will always love you. Appreciate what is that. your best memory as a dolphin and in, in the city of Miami? That's a great question. Um, let me see. As a dolphin, probably, man, just the history around it, mm. Miami. Like meeting Dan Marino every day, yeah. seeing him, talking to him. Mm. Um, I get to um, talk to Sam Madison, you know, mm. a Dolphin legend though. Mm. Sam Madison and Patrick Sertain, like mm. it was cool, man. It's just like my favorite memory as a Dolphin, like I feel like a, a game perspective, it was the uh, the night we beat um, the Patriots, that Thursday night. I think it was Thursday night or Monday night. That the city went crazy. And we had Jay Cutler as a quarterback. Man. He was snapping that night too. Man. <laughs> I remember Jay Cutler. I yeah. was a fan. Jay Cutler. <laughs> yeah, man. But he, 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 listen, he was going to either be amazing. Yeah. Uh, he was going to be the. <laughs> 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 hey, appreciate yeah. you, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> it was rough sometimes. But when yeah. he was on, he was on yeah, like he was Donkey on. Kong, boy. He was on. It was on and popping when yeah. he was on. Yeah. Last fan question. What DB you haven't played with would you want to? And what's the DBs over in Minnesota? Hey, man. Murphy. 
Murphy nice. Okay, what we yeah. talking about? I liked him. I liked him, especially at AZ, man. Like, he did his thing this year with the Vikings, though. But a cornerback I would want to play with, DB, Stephon Gilmore. Ooh, wow. Yeah, Stephon Gilmore, man. I Ooh. like his game. I love his game, man. And he's a uh, vet also, and um, I can learn some stuff from him. That leads us into a segue. We already did that top five hardest wide receivers to guard. Let's, I, I, let's, I, I, let's leave it a segue, though. We got the segue, the prize picks. So this segment right here, okay, free money. They're handing it out, prize okay. picks. More or less, but your prize picks is top five DBs of all time. Um, I got Champ Bailey. Mm-hmm. Champ. Darrell Rivas. Rivas Island. Rivas Island. Um, Mel Blunt. Mel Blunt. Um, Deion Sanders. Prime. I can't beat him up. I can't beat him up, man. Prime. Um, who else? Who else? My favorite DB. Let me see. Damn. Um, I already said Champ, right? Yep. Champ. Darrell. Um, the real prime time. Prime time. Um, I gotta show love, man. Sam Madison, bro. Sam. Sam Madison, man. Sam, I gotta show said, love. When you said you talked about, you know, playing, you know, with Sam and, and I mean, not playing, but talking to Sam and Pat Sertan every mm-hmm. day. That's kind of what I was envisioning when you know you and Ramsey had the opportunity to yeah. play together. Me and Byron first. Yeah. Byron Jones first. You're right. Byron Jones Jay. first. Yeah. yeah me and Jay. Right. You're right. Yeah. They try to bring it back to history, but man. We probably played like five games yeah, together. Yeah, man. We had a good relationship though and stuff like that, but it was like how the business work, how yeah. everything play out. Then it's like, we, he started off, you know, ended up getting injured, came yes, back, yes. snap, and um, I ended up ending the season injured. So it's like, we didn't really just, really just get that bond together on the field and stuff like that. But man, he's a hell of a player though. Yeah, but even with that. Athletic as hell. Yeah, even with that, after, you know what I'm saying, your situation happened the way it happened. I seen yeah. he shot a real, you know, real, real, you know, um, Instagram out and said made some, you know, said some good things about you and for sure, you know, wish you well and all that. So he was real G with. It. So oh yeah, I appreciate what y'all did together and I wish we got a little I more know. with y'all boy. I wouldn't mind doing it one more year, oh, but man, you know, man, it's, it's the business side of it, man. You know what it is. Who are we talking about here? Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey. Oh. Yeah. Jalen Ramsey. I was him and him and him and Jalen Ramsey together just brought me back to the days that we had Pat Sertain yeah. and, and you know um, Sam Madison together. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the questions actually. They said the best, one of the best duos and in, in, uh, cornerback duos in Dolphin history was you and Jalen Ramsey. Mm. That would have been nice to see more yeah, of that. It would have been. been nice. Oh, yeah. That would have been nice. Healthy too, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's what we yeah. missed out. Both of them being healthy at right. the same time. Then it's like, bro, our defense took some L's injuries, bro. Mm-hmm. Like it just started hitting everybody. Yeah. 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 Especially yeah. the outside Phillips, linebacker room. Chubb, Chubb. Man, I was, man, I Van was. Van Hey, Van Kegel, yeah, he got. Oh my yeah, god, he, hey, he different though. He yeah. good, huh? Yeah, bro, I like him. He, he good, flies bro. around. Yeah. Bro. I love his game, bro. Yeah, he flies like around. Him. He at leg as hell, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's like what him. I was talking about earlier. Like when you go in, when you go in, you know, into free agency, like yeah. it's easy to say you want to go win a championship. So that's why yeah. you got you got to juggle it, right? Yeah, like, you got to juggle it, man. Because you walk into that defense, that defense stays healthy. It could be completely different. Yeah. But then the Not with the Dolphins, stay healthy though. too. You talking about the Dolphins? Oh, no, anybody. Just any oh, okay, team you yeah, go yeah, out to a free agency, right? Nah, like when I closed that door. <laughs> I, I, know that, that, yeah. I know that door shut <laughs> like the moment you walk in. Yeah, no, <laughs> 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 I, seen that, I seen the door been closed. They yeah. try to leave the door open or crack and you shut it. I see yeah, for sure. Man. For sure but I'm man. saying like when you go into free agency this summer, like that's what I was talking about. Like yeah. you talk about all those injuries. Like that's the one thing in football, of all sports, you can't control. You can't control injuries, you On paper this offseason, you look at it. That's why you got to juggle the money. Because listen, at the end of the day, all of our professional windows are small. Yeah, right. Like, very small. Father time is undefeated. Yeah. Not many people play 20 years like Facts. OG over there. That's so, what I'm trying to learn, how he took care of his body. Yeah. Man. That's why I was asking questions before we got started on here. Training like, how like he took care of I told you yeah. how he got out there in Bomberitos. I started training like a football player. Man. That was when I changed, like, you know, that's when the pivot came. I told you, the first week of Bomberitos, I couldn't get out the bed. That's crazy. <laughs> I, was, I could not get yeah. out the bed. That was, you know what I'm saying? So I literally had to think outside the box yeah. if I wanted to, like, you know what I'm saying? Continue my career, you know what I'm saying, and play at a high level. So, but you play like that though, aggressive yeah. though, man. Yeah, appreciate like, it, dog. Dog work in the paint though. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, we like dogs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we for love sure. dogs. We like dogs. Don't <laughs> yeah, I like them small cane corsos. They're little. Small. Yeah, he got. What dog you like? What big dog you like? I got two. German yeah. Shepherds. German yeah. Shepherds. Yeah. yeah. They cool. Yeah, they are cool. They cool. They cool. Man, hold on, slow. What? They, they cool. cool. They cool. Yeah, they cool. Talking about my dog like that. They good. They good. They good. Talking about my dog. Yeah, for real. Bring the ball back. 
they good to play. Y'all got, right. you got, you got two dudes over here, Kane Carlos was talking about. You're Jeremy Shepard, Q. Okay. <laughs> okay. I ain't gonna, we ain't gonna size them up though, I'll tell you that much. Come on, man, hit him with some OG, OG advice, advice man. man. We like to have the segment OGs. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's really yeah, what we did the podcast the, this for. This is segment for the some. OG advice, yeah. man. And I'm gonna have to keep it A1, playboy. Play <laughs> Any athlete out there faced with the decision of getting paid or going to another organization. Damn, I feel like you're talking to you, Coach. No, I ain't talking to that <laughs> I man. I feel like you're talking <laughs> to him, Coach. It's okay. Get your money. Yeah. OG advice is get your money. All right. You'll never be able to make up millions out here. Mm -mm. Go get your money. You, can't you got make the opportunity to get paid and you've earned it. You got to go get your money while you're healthy because if the situation is reversed and you get hurt, then nobody's going to feel sorry for you. Mm -hmm. So OG advice is business is business. Take your feelings. Your feelings. Keep business <laughs> the main thing and go get your money. What yeah. are they supposed to do with their feelings? Your feelings. Keep business the main to, thing man. and go you get, get your, your money. You get your that's feelings what it involved. Is. That's These billion over. dollar organizations we talking about and they talking about millions. They mm -hmm. want to now nah, get your money. They yeah. got it. If they don't got it, then they'll go find it. Yeah. If they don't find it, that means you wasn't important enough to them. Mm -hmm. Somebody else will give it to you. Yeah, somebody else will give it to That's you. Lead advice, One man. man's trash, another man's, man's treasure. Trash. For real. What OG told you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I ain't gonna lie, man. I had an awesome time up here today. Yeah, appreciate I appreciate I appreciate you coming. I feel like Adam Scheffler, like I dropped that news that you're going to the Vikings. People are going to dig that. Man, <laughs> come on with that, man. What are you doing, man? What are you talking about? Yeah, Brian man, Flores, no... like I said, that's my guy. That's like, what I'm saying. Let's we like to get that money, dog. Man, we just I like him that much, We need leverage. Good leverage. Just rip the band-aid off the end. it down. The man ain't even left the city yet. He played for him. Jeez No, we were talking about we closed the door, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We closed when we walked in here. And I ain't even like at the end of the day, like that's his decision. Yeah. I'm just his age, you know what I mean? Like, trying to make it work. But no, I would real. love to see the man play for the Texas. I'm How about that? For sure. I want He's to see like, him at home. Go, like he said, go get it. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and obviously, you're gonna, every decision you're going to do is going to weigh it based on winning the Super Bowl because everybody wants to win one. Yeah, for sure. That's but the small goal. windows, go make the most of it. Compete, keep your body healthy, man. Yes, but it's sir. been a pleasure having you on here, bro. Man, I appreciate, appreciate you, man. Dog. Thank for you. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you. Appreciate my it, bro. Thank and y'all ain't going to call my German Shepherd cute no more. Go fetch. Go fetch. You got to get a cane course over, man. OG's out. Tune in Tuesday, man. Yeah, appreciate you. Bye, bye.